Like you mentioned, my name is Joe Gabrick, for those of you all that uh, haven't met before. Yeah, I'm with the Cyber Infrastructure Division here at BBI, and I also have an uh, affiliate position in the Industrial Systems Engineering Department with Human Factors. So Jung Soon is an ISC. She does Human Factors, and we got, we got hooked up over there. And Jung Soon is really interested in knowledge sharing. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this, but it's going to be at a high level, because it has to be. So <coughs> like many of you know in the front row here, you guys know way more about your research than, than your mentor, right? Than your advisor. So I'm the advisor here. So I know sort of the high level issues. Jung Soon will be here this afternoon. She can talk in detail about, about the research. So the, the easiest way to explain this is, or one way that I like to think about it is, so let's do a game where we raise our hands, okay? So raise your hand if you've ever bought something on Amazon.com. Okay, good, leave them up. I don't believe you. <laughs> you don't believe me? No. <laughs> um, how many of the, when you're shopping on something like an Amazon or Zappos, how many of you all use the reviewers or uh, comments or um, ratings to make a decision? Okay, how many of, okay, so a lot of hands are up if you guys don't have eyes in the back of your heads. Okay, now, leave your hand up if you've ever posted a review. I <laughs> okay, more, David, okay, more than I thought. Okay, great, so like, I don't know, maybe 9 out of 10 here. That's actually higher than I thought. So I think you can put your hands up, thanks. So when people contribute, uh, either, cons either produce uh, knowledge online or consume it, like most of us do, um, we're sharing knowledge. Right? And this is pretty well established in a lot of places. Uh, think about something like TripAdvisor. I use TripAdvisor all the time or Yelp when I'm out traveling. It's great, right? Except for TripAdvisor says that Carol Lee Donut is the best restaurant in Blacksburg. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's, there's issues with data quality. But anyways, the point being is that a, a site like TripAdvisor would really have no value without the contribution from the community. A site like Amazon could probably still get by much better with the, with the user comments, right? So what about in scientific communities, okay? What, 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 what's happening there? So Jung Sing's doing a study. She's collected over 120, 130 data points on how people's, researchers like yourself, bioinformaticians, biologists, what are your perceptions about knowledge sharing? Okay, what are your, do, do you do it, do you not do it? Um, and so this is really preliminary work, but what she's found is that, much like the audience today, <laughs> right, people consume it, but they rarely offer, offer it up. But the weird thing is, is that people say that they want to, okay? Not 95%, that's a big number. You know, they want to share it, but they're not sharing it. And so, Jung is trying to figure out why. You know, is it, is it uh, privacy issues about my data so I don't get scooped? Is it, are there usability issues in the interfaces that make it difficult? Are there other barriers to entry? So, um, come by and see Jung Soon later today, and she can give you the details on what, why she thinks she's seeing these trends. Thanks. Thank you.